Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another data pack video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Oceans Edition data pack. Let's see. This data pack adds a bunch of cool ocean features, bosses, armor, tools, lots of cool stuff. So yeah, and I am joined here by Oromidus. Oromidus. Yep. And so yeah, I'm gonna be checking this out. So, yeah, so let's look at some of the um, more commonly seen features. So, for one, we have these lobsters that you can find around in the ocean. Oh, and multiple colors, which is cool. So, yeah, if you kill a lobster, then you will get the lobster shell and lobster meat. And then you can cook the lobster meat in a furnace. So let me just go, yeah, cook it up. Wait. All right, so I figured out the issue. You actually have to bur uh put the lobster on fire, and then it will drop the boiled lobster. Yep, so you got it. Boiled lobster. So, yeah. Good, yummy food. Uh, let me see how much this actually gives you. Let me run around. So, yeah, this only gives you like I think, 100 bar. I mean, it is kind of small, but... Yeah, I mean, it's just a lobster, so it's not going to be crazy. Yeah, it's kind of got to be expected. Okay, Alright. Yeah. Okay. Wait, I think he does more than one, actually. Oh, whatever, okay. <laughs> um, moving on. We have the Abyss Dweller. Um, I have to turn off my shaders for this because it conflicts for some reason. But as you can see here, we have this guy. Probably the longest they're underwater. Yeah, let's put him in the. It changes color in the water. So oh. There we go. I got a rotten yeah. alber fruit. I think there's trying out other things as well. Though. They're pretty tough. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Yeah. 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 How did I not already have Monster Hunter? We got some raw and umber fruit. This should be cookable. I hope. No. <laughs> so to actually get um normal raw and amber fruit, you need to get a plant, and then oh uh, yes, you got the good. The original stuff as well. Nice. Yep. Let's see. Let's test this. Uh, hung give myself hunger. Here, start hitting me a bunch. Here. Yeah, use the sword. I oh, am. Yeah. Don't kill me though. Yeah, I don't know how low you are. I have three hearts right now, so. Okay, then I won't hit again. <laughs> you hit me again. Oh. <laughs> ah! 
Well, um, that happened. Okay, and then I'll just here. Just press all the buttons. <laughs> Get beat up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm down to three and a half hearts. Come on. Dude. Oh. All right, try it. Yeah, what do you All right, now? Right on. That's wow. Those are nutritious. I don't even know how much it gives. I know it gives at least like four. Damn, so okay, yeah. So that, that's some good food right there. Some good eats. Oh yeah. Here, and it, it gives you some sort of status effects. I was not paying enough attention, but yeah. Okay. Uh, I believe it was like strength and resistance or something. Uh. Or maybe eight. So that's yes. So that gives a bunch of good effects. Um, now let's go back. So now there's also a bunch of bosses in this game that the bosses are like the main way of how you get the like armor and tools and stuff. So, yeah, so we're gonna be looking at the first boss, which is the Ocean King, and to you have to summon an ocean king. To do that, you need an ocean core, and so yeah, this is the recipe to make one of those. It's hard to see copper and prismarine shards. It's pretty simple. It's actually not that bad of a recipe. Yeah. It's a pretty cool texture yeah, too. Atlantis. Yeah. So let's go down here and summon one. Boom. The ocean oh. king. All right. So let's let's get let's gear up. I'll put some netherite armor on. Basic netherite armor and a sword. And yeah, let's, let's see how strong it is. Where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's um. Oh, there it is. Two hours later. It's got a special right. So, I got after a hard fought battle, we, uh, we got, we killed him, we got this Ocean King stuff. So this is the armor you can get. You always have a random chance of getting, like, some armor piece. Do you, uh, did you get a whole set? Like, the chest plate? I didn't get any armor, oh, uh, except for the helmet, which I gave. I, I picked it up here. Okay. Um, anyways, yeah, it has the whole armor set that's like really powerful. Changes properties when in water. Yeah, so when it's when you're on land, it's actually pretty weak, but once you go into water, it's like uh, better than diamond. That it is. Yeah. So if I go into water, now it's boosted and. Got this texture going on. It looks like prismarine. It's about as good as netherite. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's the Ocean King armor. So now we are going to be checking out the Colony more. Queen. And so the Colony Queen actually spawns in its own little structure biome. And yeah, so we're gonna uh, go over there and check that out. We are at the thing. So yeah, this is a huge structure, um, yeah, and it has these outer rings too, it's very cool. It's gonna happen to spawn inside a ocean monument halfway. Yeah, they still spawn like right next to ocean monuments, so yeah, if you find an ocean monument, you'll probably find one of these. But, yeah, so if you go through here, it's kind of like an ocean monument going through tunnels but then you go to the bottom and the boss should start summoning itself yep there it is I'm gonna give myself effect water breathing hold on I 
I don't know that I can get down there without destroying things. Ooh, nothing happened. There you go. Now go you're going to survival. Oh gosh, this is gonna be terrible. Isn't oh it? my god, oh, I have god. like some Let's weird see. effect. <laughs> okay. What? So we can do that. Let's see, is it as strong as the Ocean King? <laughs> With this one tap. Okay, it's not oh one tap on me, but it's doing some good damage. Oh. oh. It's hard to hit because it's yeah, spinning it's around. Yeah, it's going in the circle. Motion. And it's, it gets you stuck if you get stuck in the blue smoke, I think. Ah, okay. And it appears to take damage from arrows. Gosh. Well, arrows don't really work that well in the water, though. Eh, they work enough. <laughs> I'm very low. I haven't gotten that many hit. Oh, there we go. I just got hit. Uh, need, need to corner it. Oh. Pff. Yeah, I... Right. Repairs to swap phase. What? Reactor core phase. What? Right. Ah, I'm We're stuck. getting there. It keeps making me stuck. Oh, and it's got these minions. Oh, it has minions? Yeah, it's... On the floor. holy Wait, moly! Was it one of the funky. dwellers? Biomechanical scale. Oh yeah, that's another thing we'll look at. Ocean aliens. Here. Gosh, I'm on a half of a heart. Oh, uh, I just took a bunch of damage. <laughs> half a heart too. Whoa! Uh, oh no! Quickly! No! <laughs> Two hours later. Completely legit killed the colony queen. Uh, you know, totally. Open up another tunnel. Oh. Oh. I'm talking about these. Phaser helmet? Uh. Ruh -ruh. Phaser chest plate. Uh, and a bunch more of these scales. Phaser blade? This looks awesome. Stuff. So I got a bunch. I, bu I got a bunch of the amper fruits in here, so you can get those in this. How good's the armor? Um, plus six armor for the chest plate. I don't remember how that compares to netherite. It's just below netherite, but it changes properties with the use of a phaser core. Okay. Oh wow! What is it now? It like did some sort of crazy ability thing. I don't know what it did yet, though. You, you look like some. You're part of some like okay. cultural tribe that armor. It's got. It looks like I'm made out of bamboo or something. Hey, <laughs> yeah. But then it's like glow in the dark. Oh. Okay, so there's this this bar that pops up and it has a cooldown. Here, check it out. Okay. And then it these. Ah. Uh. And that. They change phase. Do you have the chest plate? Uh, no, it should be there. Uh, did I oh, there it is. It just appeared. Oh. Wait, what? Keeps floating. That's over here. Did you get it again? Uh, there it is. Oh. There we go. Cover me in. Cover me what in. is. Alright, so. Oh, yeah. It like changes phase and it changes colors. And it looks super cool, even in vanilla. Oh, yeah, this is like some cool armor. Um, the armor textures outside though do not look right. I don't know what's up with that, but. And then there's a. Sh okay, let's, let's go out back to the surface and we can check this all out. So, I have returned with this. 
Um, let's go into survival. Okay, so the purple one gives me very bad stats. Um, that's so awesome, though. Okay, let's try this again. I keep putting me in the purple one. Um, I think that's the only one, but that sword probably is extra good or something like that. Oh yeah, so the sword becomes plus seven attack damage, which is pretty. Powerful. That's pretty good. Or no, it, it always is 7 attack damage, I don't Oh. Okay, I just got so to red. Uh, oh, and now it's plus 20% attack damage on everything. Nice. Now it's extra strong. Okay. So I have to wait for the, the bar to go down. And then... It's green. Green is plus 20%. Oh, so now I'm fast in green mode. Uh. I, I am speed. <laughs> and it looks so spiffy, I can't stop saying it. Yeah. Gets me wondering how they made the custom armor texture, because... So those, those are the three modes. So it's um, either speed, uh, strength, or just nerfed. So uh, that's how it works. Oh, and I also got okay. these amber fruit seeds, which is like a plant for the amber fruit. So you can grow them. Oh, that's useful. Yeah. Um, yeah, if I get myself a hoe. You went right for the nether right. Yeah. Um, wait, it's not great. Right. That's all. Hmm. Maybe it needs something else, like nether wart. Or nether soul sand. Wait, what if it has to be in water? No. Okay. Um. Wait, let's look at the thing. So there's these. The. Fraser's blade sharpening kit. How do I use uh, that? Do I like? How do I sharpen it? All right. Okay. So looking at this article, you need the uh, bio, bio, uh, the, the scale thing. That I can't pronounce it right now. Um, to repair it. So it's basically meant, it's used to repair the sword. That's what it's okay. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, let me look at the, uh, fruits. So if we go over here, um, seeds. Oh wait, oh wait, they can be planted on grass or dirt. That's... I do why they don't then. Okay, let's go down here. Get this, but like once you get a plant, you can just harvest the emperor plants. Yeah, that's that. Um, anyways, I think we went over most of the things in this data pack, so yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna be showing in this video. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah, goodbye.